friend Raynor. It appears the process is beginning. The Zelnaga's light will be impossible to hide from our enemy. The battle ahead shall be a difficult one. I hope you are prepared for it. Alright. Hello, welcome back. And you poor fuck, uh, if you're looking this up from YouTube to do a walkthrough of this and you're looking for an easy way of beating it, all I can say is you poor fuck, because uh, it's going to take you a couple times. Um, I, I honestly, I tried everything. I tried to find, like, an easy way of doing it, and it isn't easy. And it's a very specific kind of build that I do. I go for banshees. Um, I've tried everything. I've tried doing like planetary walls, tons of tanks, things like that. It's just not, nothing really works because the composition that comes after you counters everything that you can possibly make. So the best thing actually is to just make a shit ton of banshees, to be honest. And that's what we're going to do. So it's going to be kind of tough, but try and follow along at the beginning of what I'm doing. Because uh, I'm going to go for extremely fast expansion into making a shit ton of banshees. So uh, let's get going then. Anyways, the only other piece of advice I can give you for this mission is that the waves appear to come in, in increasing difficulty only based upon the percent that you've charged up. And using your little laser beam uh, pauses the charge timer. So using the laser beam actually isn't detrimental at all. It actually gives you more time to kind of build up if you want, but uh, I'm, I'm fucking memeing this and just trying to go under, go under the 15, use as little as possible, you know, and all that kind of crap, so... I'm just gonna kill the two things here. Basically, there's an achievement to get less than 15 kills. I'm gonna try and use it as little as possible too. I need to focus until this is finished. Jim, you'll have to handle this one. All right. I've set up my defenses at these two points. Looks like we gotta stand our ground if we're gonna get out of this alive. This swarm will eat its queen unto death. And the might of the firstborn stands with you. Then let's get moving. Alright, try and follow along, okay? First off, make two SUVs. Hotkey fucking command center. Sell these bunkers. Send this guy over here. Lift off, trade the the starboard for here. I want heavy defenses to give Sarah the time she needs. I hope you're ready for this. My forces will hold for as long as they can. Our queen must not be harmed. Not enough minerals. All right, now we go and we get all the resources with one marine on the map. The ones that are accessible to us anyways because they give us a boost. There's ones on the outside of the map that you need a viking for or something, but that requires too much micro for me, so I'm not going to bother that. And continue making some more of these things. Now we make two banshees. I have come to seek your death. What the hell was that? Amon is sending his minions against us. But I can use this power to stop them if I have to. Not enough minerals. So we continuously make SCVs. Not cue that one. Okay, and we're, you see we're making some marines to put in this bunker that we're just building now. We have two banshees coming out. And then we also make a refinery. If you are not doing all, exactly all this, you're probably going to die, uh, lose some units in the first wave here, which is uh, not the funnest thing in the world um, at all. And I'm going to tell this guy to make a refinery right after because we want some early gas. Gas is very, very, very important on this map. This guy will just hang out over here. And now we have our first banshees out. Thor will kill the Banshees, by the way. And it looks like we lost our first bunker here. Shit. Okay, good, he's gone. 
Alright, so we're gonna need, uh, I lost a little bit more than I anticipated, so we're gonna just remake that bunker right here. Continue making some SUVs. Uh, this guy can just go right away and make the refinery. And now we need more Banshees. Except I don't have enough minerals. But that's okay, that will come in time. This is a very Banshee-heavy uh, strategy we're going for. I'm gonna actually move two of the Marines and put this guy in there. We want to keep these guys as long as possible, but it's not actually incredibly important to do. Uh, by the way, um, if you do not help uh, these guys, which they are wonderful to keep around because they act as meat shields, and you need meat shields in this. Uh, so you keeping them alive is a must. Also, we have the instant supply depots. Zagara and Artanis won't last long if you don't act. You must help them. Or I can use my powers if I must. What will she become when she is another? Do not forget, I have also ascended. Alright, we have all the gas coming along now, so now, now we just do this one. Uh, we can probably help. Them. Actually, I just should have stimmed these guys uh, when they when when they're getting attacked originally. All right, immediately now send your banshees down to the bottom to help there, because um, they will die. Um, Artanis dies in the first wave if you do not help. Uh, Zagar can kind of handle herself more, just know that. Uh, but Artanis can absolutely not. In fact, he he will die right here, and he will not come back to life. Cloaking. As you can see, he almost he basically almost already died if it wasn't for my intervention. Base is under we got another wave here. We're gonna make this into a planetary right now. And they do not heal the right ones at all. The point isn't to keep keep this necessarily alive, and we're going to just kind of let him rebuild his stuff. And also now we have a uh, couple of things we can get from the Merc compound. We're not going to use it an incredible amount, but we are going to make Banshees and Hell's Angels. As soon as those are up. And now we should actually be looking towards getting our... Uh, There's a Void Thrasher near us, Sarah. I think it's going after you. Time to use that power of yours. Now this will actually kill him. Uh, this will kill Zagara because she just they don't they don't know how to deal with these siege units at all. All right, we're gonna also bring this person down here. Now the cost of my protection costs uh, comes at a pretty high price, I should mention. And let's also get a two of these things going as well. All right, so uh, kill kill this fucking gas. There you go. And now we have a couple, a little bit more of an attack. And we could need some science houses actually for repairs. Fuck it, cloak him. As long as they don't lose their nexus, they will rebuild. Actually, I guess we don't need to do anything with that. Don't let up, do they? Why would they? Tenacity is advantageous in war. That isn't what I. Oh, hell, never mind. Alright, let's make another starport and then we're done with that. We're gonna do this stuff. Let's get ready to bring our. You see, he's just gonna rebuild. And so, as I said, they're the meat shields. Actually, uh, where's my other SCV here? You can come up here. Let's uh, help this out first, though. While he kind of moves in. You guys all attack. Thank you. And we're also going to need some uh, Vikings now. And some supply depots. I've tried every other combination of units. This is the best one that works all the time. Or most of the time. But we need the gas really bad. 
There you go. <laughs> they don't need the gas as much as I do. A massive onslaught is coming our way, Terran. Aid us. And even doing this the way I am right now, it's going to be close. I'm going to tell you that now. It is going to be close. Actually, I might make a uh, command center or two here. Uh, maybe we should send another one in to do that. Actually, yeah, there you go. Perfect. We're going to make some command centers. So these ones will have banshees and mutas and things like that. At this point, you have enough now to kind of do whatever you want, so... Now, it looks like this bunker is now going to fall, don't worry about it. You have planetary fortresses now for a reason. And we're going to just make all this kind of shit all over the place. I just, I literally don't care about that place. I can just fuck off and die. Another Void Thrasher's here. Better take care of it before it causes too much trouble. So we can actually send our forces in for this one. No reason we should actually send... We can use Kerrigan for some of this stuff. Remember, you can kill like 15 things without like the game fucking up the achievement for you. She's fine, believe me. These, by the way, these little Void Rift things, uh, they don't matter. The, the biggest problem are these big attacks like this. And Thors will fuck up Banshees, so that's the time we use the cloak. Gee, Vikings don't even need to go in. So you might be thinking to yourself, oh Mike, you took the fucking their gas, how are they gonna rebuild? Trust me, they're fine. Amon is sending an overwhelming force against me. I will need your assistance, friend Raynor. Alright, let's uh put these into slightly better positions. And unfortunately there's another attack coming for him, but that's ultra uh, ultralisks. Uh Thor's again right here. Those are the ones I hate the most. And some Colossi here too, but we don't need it anymore. If you aren't paying attention, you're probably gonna die. <laughs> and that's kind of just the nature of this, uh, this mode. Alright, let's do this and get another one. Save often if you really need to. Uh, if it helps you out, then save. Okay, I think I should honestly help her now. And I think she's dead, actually. Actually, maybe not. As long as the hatchery remains up, she's fine. Oh. I'll do what I can. Now fucking Banshees killed him, and trust me, you don't want to fucking keep that. And that's what I mean about if you don't pay attention, something will fucking die. It happens every time. Alright, I'm roughly back to where I was before. I need to make some more Vikings, I think, as well. And the Banshee and Jackson's Revenge I had before. Caution, Amon is sending a massive force to you. Alright, she should be good now. We lost the two planetaries I made here though. As long as long as as long as you're uh, maybe I should cloak these. I'm gonna cloak these. Holy shit, he sucks. Yeah, so, so that's fine. Alright. Uh, let's actually bring them back here now. We're gonna actually take them out with Kerrigan, because that's too much for us. Holy shit. We may have lost this expo. Not a huge issue though. Do we have an extra command center here? 
But we did lose all our SCVs though. Oh shit. We just have to be able to recover. And apparently I need supply to do this. Where did I? I lost like all these ones. Jesus. Alright. You can come back now. He's making them. This is actually probably the worst kind of case scenario that you can possibly get here, but actually we're going to make this a planetary. We're going to make a few planetaries though. Why is there a Zergling here? A fucking dick. Alright, we're gonna make uh, a couple more SCVs come out here and just make uh, some distraction planetary fortresses on the ridge here. Zagara and Artanis will come under attack soon. Defend them, Jim. She cannot be trusted with the power of the Zelnaga. You know it to be true. We're gonna help Artanis out actually, because he is. Uh, yeah, see, so he likes Broodlords already. Uh, I mean, all, all this can kind of like, not really, you don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, how are we doing for Banshees? We got, I think we're good with everything. We just need, we need a lot more Banshees than anything. Yeah, this is the problem that we get. I mean. Uh, let's cook these guys though. Oh uh, yeah, not much we can do about this though. But we're getting near the end of this, so we can probably just hold out until the very end. I'm gonna actually start making some... Actually, I don't have enough resources for that. Like I said, those things are like the worst. There are more void thrashers out there. We gotta take them out. That's what... That's what Kerrigan's gonna do. It pauses the timer, that's why I don't like using it too much. If I use this power against Amon's forces, it will delay the transfer. I'll have to be careful. We're not even gonna bother remaking this base anymore. Apparently we don't even have enough uh, SCVs to do any of this anymore. This should hopefully be enough to, to finish the rest of this campaign off, because it's like 80%, she's got full health. So it's just a matter of all this stuff is just meant to kind of distract them. A single, okay, let's go help this person out now. Bring a cloak. Just because these guys are so effective at affecting this light. I'll do what I can. Now get yourself to safety. You hear? I probably should have made this into a planetary. Yeah, here they come. This is why Banshees are pretty much the best for this. Okay. Oh, goodness, I don't have any supply depots. Our queen is under attack. I can't hold forever. My strength is failing. Yeah, she died. At 99.4%. Alright, so this time I'm opting to, um, I pulled off all my SCVs. This is the side that fell first, although they both look pretty bad. But all we have to do is hold out until, uh... Hold out until Hunter, there you go. Now we did it.
That's it. I have nearly all of the Zelnaga's essence. I have been honored to serve you, my queen. The swarm is yours, Zagara. Remember our lessons. I shall. It is time. moments together they will always be with me darling I... we have to go now Jim She's free now. Oh, okay. Well, that one's a bit of a doozy. I won't lie. Uh, but units killed by a celestial beam. See, I barely used it. And to be honest, if you use it much more than I do, then you should probably have even less trouble. But to be honest, I am like, you saw how much they tear through like the planetary fortresses and stuff like that. It's just uh, fucking terrible, to be honest. Um, like, it, they don't work. Um, a lot of things don't work. That was the closest thing I found to something that works. I mean, it was successful. Uh, but yeah, at the very end there, it gets like pretty, pretty, pretty bad. But I honestly, I think the only two things you can possibly that work on this map is possibly a lot of siege tank spam, but banshees are actually the best uh, way. Uh, battle cruises don't do crap and like a bunch of other stuff doesn't do crap. Just, you know, uh, infantry is garbage with like the bunkers and stuff because they fall really easily too to be honest so this is the best way i found of doing it on brutal so uh that's it for that uh so let's get going next one <laughs>